What's going on, y'all? Bugsy Smooth. Um, I just wanted to give my uh, my opinion and my raw thoughts on this Jesse Smollett case. Um, so I've been following this uh, case since it first broke. Um, so reports just came out uh, recently that uh, these two Nigerian men, um, who I believe were extras on Empire, um, they were paid by Jesse Smollett to carry out this hoax, quote unquote, um, and they were released. So as soon as I saw a report about them dudes being released, I was like, it solidified what I already thought about it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, and and this is just my raw of thoughts. This is my opinion from the get go when I first heard this story broke, and I read the details of this case. I knew that Jesse was lying. Okay. And I have a few reasons why I believe Jesse is lying. First off, if y'all don't know who Jesse Smollett is, he is an actor off the TV show Empire that premieres on Fox with Taraji P. Henson and uh, Terrence Howard. So it's a pretty popular show. Um, I watch the show from time to time. I've been keeping up with it. Uh, so uh, Jesse Smollett is also a singer as well. So he does music. Um, so when you read the details of this case and you read the reports that have been out on this story, first of all, it don't even make no sense. Jesse Smollett is out in Chicago at two o'clock in the morning at a subway in negative 50 degree weather. Mind you, it is one of the coldest winters in Midwest, probably in Chicago history. And you have an actor who's out at two in the morning in negative 50 degree weather with no security and gets attacked by two men wearing MAGA hats. So two men wearing MAGA hats in negative 50 degree weather in Chicago, carrying bleach, decide to jump you. And because you are a homosexual and they notice that off the break. Okay, I don't mean to be insensitive here, but nobody really knows who Jesse Smollett is like that. He's not a mainstream household celebrity. So not many people are going to know just off looking at him that he's a homosexual. Now, they will know that he's black just by looking at him. But I'm going to tell you this. I don't care how big of a white supremacist you are, how big of a Nazi you are. I don't care how big of a racist you are. Ain't no way in hell, first off, a white supremacist is looking to jump a, a, a black man in Chicago where there's cameras all around. If you've ever been to Chicago, especially that area where Jesse um, was quote unquote attacked at. I've been there and there's cameras all around there and there's no footage that's out. So we have seen no footage of Jesse being attacked in an area that's flooded with cameras. That's one thing that alarmed me. The second thing that raised my eyebrow is Jesse attended an event that was funded by Time's Up organization. So if you're not familiar with Time's Up, um, they're an organization that is against sexual harassment, sexual violence, you know, towards gays and uh, just, you know, just sexual harassment. Um, so that that's something that they rally against. And that's what that organization is all about. So Jesse was at an event that was funded by Time's Up with Kamala Harris. Not only that, this past Monday, Lisa Borders, who's the CEO of Time's Up, resigned. Now, that's very convenient. Because now that there's an investigation out there that Jesse, you know, may have been lying about this attack. Now she's trying to they're trying to distance themselves from Jesse. So that's something that alarmed me, you know, and then there's an anti lynching bill that was passed. Okay. An anti lynching bill gets passed right after Jesse Smollett's quote unquote attack. This whole thing sounds fishy to me. And then you got the Democratic Party, you know, jumping on this whole thing soon as it happens and then now that it's you know out there that this may be a possible lie and they're you know i don't know who put jesse up to this um you know i i, I don't know i i'm curious to know why i'm curious to know what the whole reason and behind lying about this attack is because I, in my opinion i i wholeheartedly believe it's a lie see and i just want to know why and his best bet at this point is to just i know he's probably going to start screaming mental health if it's not a mental health issue he might well say it's a drug problem he was high or you know or or just snitch on the person who who put him up to it i guess you know cuz cuz the one thing them two nigerian guys they started snitching quick cuz i guess Jesse didn't give them their money you know so 
Jesse Smollett's probably going to go to jail behind this, and, and, and I personally think he should. I don't wish jail on nobody, but if you out here lying about things that happen to everyday people, uh, racial attacks, people getting attacked because they're homosexual, you know, stuff like that. There's real victims of that that's out here. And if you out here lying about that, you do deserve to go to jail. On top of that, you made a lot of people look bad, Jesse. This thing got to the White House. The president, this thing got all the way to the president. Not only that, there, there's a lot of investigation that went into this and you just wasted a lot of people's time. So Jesse, he more than likely is going to go to jail for this. OK, and and I don't know if this was <laughs> to promote your music. I hope it wasn't because it ain't work. You know, that's not going to make me want to listen to you more. And the crazy thing is you a talented guy, Jesse. I, I think Jesse's a very talented guy. And them Nigerians came singing quick. The boy, <laughs> boy, that's one thing you don't do is play with a Nigerian's money. If y'all had any dealings with any Nigerians, when it comes to some paper, they don't play no games. Them, Niger them Nigerians was probably on their way to Africa. They had a whole plan set up. They were like, Jesse finna send us the second half of our bread or whatever financial situation they worked out. They thought that they were going to get paid and they probably didn't get paid the rest of their bread. And they were like, we on our way back to America now. <laughs> we on our way back. That, that damn game of the soga. We on our way back now. We're getting our money, and if we don't get our money, I'm snitching. Yes, yes, police officer, it was him. He put me up to this. Lock him up now. They snitched. Quick. Should have gave him that money, Jesse. Should have gave him that money. You shouldn't have lied to begin with. You don't, you don't play with situations like this, but, you know. But anyway, man, you know, if you like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this situation. Please share. And um, until next time, I'll holla at y'all.